Hello everyone, this is Leah from Manuscript Manager and welcome to our tutorial video where I'll be showing how to deliver a review. If you've been invited to participate in the review process for a particular manuscript, you will receive an email that looks something like this one on my screen. If we scroll down a little bit, we have the general message of the email. And then you can see that the abstract is included typically in this email as well as a link. You'll get a chance to read the abstract and then click the link to say whether you will accept to review or decline to review. So let's go ahead and click that link. Now we're at the opening page for the review process where you either agree or decline to review. I'd like to mention that if you were to decline, you have the opportunity to write a personalized message to the editor that has invited you. But in this case, for our demo today, we will be agreeing to review. So I'll go ahead and click that, and we'll see where that leads. Ah, yes. And we will continue. You can see by clicking the Continue button, we've been led into the Review Process tab page. There are five tabs across the top, each one signifying a step in this process. And the first tab, called Guidelines, is already open in front of us. Here we have the guidelines of the particular journal that we will be submitting our review for. You would read the guidelines, check the box to confirm that you've read the guidelines, and click Continue to the next section. You can see that we come automatically to the next tab, which is called Documents, and this is where you have access to the actual manuscript. The manuscript can be called forth by clicking the PDF review document. You can print it out or read it on your screen. And once you've read the document, you can move to the next step. And here we are on the evaluation page, which is where you do your actual review. In the first field, you can see it's required. You have a chance to add your comments to the authors. In the second field, which you can see is also required, you have a chance to add your confidential comments to the editorial board. And then typically those two sections are followed by journal specific questions. Here on our demo we have some very typical questions. For example, is the manuscript within the scope of the journal? We'll just say yes. Is there novel previously unreported information included in the manuscript? Again, these are all journal specific. For the purpose of our tutorial, I'll click yes on all of them. And then we come down to the section where you are to offer a total score. We can say good. And your final recommendation. In this case, we'll say recommend accept with revision. And if you would like to review this section, you're not sure that you're quite done, you can click to save draft. If you are sure that you have completed it to your satisfaction, you can click save and continue. And that's what we'll do. And you'll see that we've moved through these sections and to the markups page. The markups page is an optional page for those that might want to add a file that they've actually written on. Um, some people prefer not to do this, and at times this tab is not available, but it is there for, um, for those that need it. And then we move on to the send page. Once you've got, gone through all these steps, you're able to submit your review. I'll go ahead and click that button. And you can see that we have a list of three completed reviews where the newest one is at the top. And that concludes our tutorial for today on submitting a review. I hope you found it helpful. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for being with us, and bye-bye.